Hey, hi, hello. Uh, let's see how to run the JSP in Spring Boot application. Uh, first of all, you need to go to this URL. I'll drop a link in the description. Uh, this has the specific steps to be followed uh, to render the JSP. And this is the folder structure. If you don't know the what are the files are existing and uh, what activities does it do so i'll drop a link in the description uh, you can watch my earlier video and let's start creating the jsp uh, just go to sts right click on the web app new jsp rename it as index.jsp Let's change the title. Let's put a message just to know that it's working. Okay, we have created the JSP and next part is let's create a controller so which is responsible to uh, render this jsp let's create a package first a different package which has controllers alone demo dot controller As the base package is a demo and it has the Spring Boot uh, demo application, Spring, it has the Spring Boot application uh, uh, annotation which is responsible to scan the other packages uh, with the same name as prefix. So you no need to have uh, an enable auto configuration and uh, do a component scan. So by default it does for us. So Let's create a controller. The class name it as index controller. And to know Spring that it is a controller that handles the requests. Just put an annotation called controller. import it or else you can do control shift o and now let's create a method that handles a particular request uh, with a prefix or you can say the with the path so let's create a method model and weave takes three parameters uh, uh, two are optional and the first one is weave and the second one and third one are pointer and its holder uh, we'll talk later about that uh, first uh, let's gen uh, let's um, run this uh, JSP um, one thing that we have forgot is uh, we just want to point that uh, this method should be executed we just given the controller but uh, we did not give any information to the spring that uh, this is the method that need to be executed so for that we need to do yeah this is the request mapping so that uh, for this request uh, this method should be executed and this method returns the particular view it's called index so it goes to the web app folder so we no need to tell that the JSP existing in the web app uh, because 
spring in the later versions of 1.2 it has default configurations so you no need to tell the the uh, spring that uh, the uh, it exits on the web app web inf jsps so all that so you can directly return the view of the uh, jsp and the next part is uh, we have said that we are returning index dot jsp but uh, uh, spring should know that it is jsp or html or any other so for that we need to go to the application properties and here we have to say that our returning view has a specific suffix for example our specific suffix is jsp so for that we need to tell the spring that the suffix is jsp So we were overridden the specific property that our view has a suffix of JSP. So it's done. Now uh, we need to declare this particular dependency in the form.xml so that uh, uh, the Spring application uh, should able to compile and run the JSP. So that's Add a dependency in the palm.xml. You can go to this URL and you can find the, uh, the dependency. Yes, this is the dependency. Just copy it from here. In this space. Click on save. Yeah, the building is done successful. Uh, if your application throw any build errors so for that what you will do is go to right click on the project and uh, click on maven and you can do update project and you can click on the force update and click on ok so that uh, it will update so we are done let's try to clean it and install And let's now do install. Yeah, the build got success. Now let's run and see. Run as Spring Boot application. Started. Let's go ahead and click on the post. Yes, the JSP works. See what we have done in the controller is we have given just a slash. So by default, uh, when the application on startup, what it does is it. Uh, it's the default uh, slash so you can get you can weave your JSP on default but also you can do if you can put your home slash home or uh, slash welcome as per your wish but uh, I want my application to run without giving any other parameters so for that I have given the slash okay and the other thing is let's change something in jsp and see if it is reflecting i have changed and i have saved no it's not reflecting Kelly, uh, we need to make some configuration changes um, i'll let you know in the next video mm, thank you